my dad woke up one morning. He said, hey, I had a dream. We're opening a restaurant together. And the economy crashed. Today's guest is Taro Arai. And next time I know, we, we were down $11 million in debt. So I told my dad, I think it was not a dream. It was a nightmare. Principal asked me to go up to the podium and it started hitting me. In that, public and on a podium like yeah, that? Yeah, on a podium. Oh my gosh. Family of five grew to 1,000 employees. From no fish, we used 52 tons of seafood every month. We did about 75 or $80 million in sales last year. You've raised over $3 million for the local community and charities. What do you think the importance of giving back is? We don't even know who he was. He sent us $300,000. Tell me a little bit about your childhood. Okay, my last name, Arai, uh -huh. mean wild. My Taro mean first son. So I was... Wild first son? Bird. My dad <laughs> named me. And then I, um, yeah, I was in trouble everywhere I go. Mm. And uh, I don't know, I was too unique. I had a reverse mohawk. Not mohawk, but just shave the middle. And in Japan, <laughs> like a landing strip? Oh, it's pretty ugly, but my teacher didn't like it. That's so a statement. He used a sharpie to paint my ball spot. Anything I did, I got in trouble in Japan. Do you think you got in trouble because you're like a troublemaker or just because you're very eclectic and authentic? What do you think that was? Mm, Were you trying to get in trouble? But without it, I'm not here. So I'm, I'm thanking God for that too. But yeah. I don't know. I just want to be different than others. Um, I just couldn't follow, I don't know, rules, I guess. You just want to be Like, you. for example, my parents didn't have much money. So shoes, he, they couldn't afford it. He was a pastor all his life and... In Japan, less than one percent Christians, <laughs> and so I found that red shoes for eight dollars. I wore that in first day in school, junior high school, morning assembly. Twenty five hundred students were there. Principal asked me to go up to the podium, and it started hitting me. In that, public and on a podium like yeah, that. Yeah, on a podium. Oh my gosh! So that's when I said, "Wow, okay." I gave the shoes to my principal. I didn't wear shoes for a year. Because I didn't want to ask my dad to buy me another one. People are really nice there, but they have to follow the rule, which maybe I should have learned. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe not. We might not have Makuni in the creative brain exactly. that can come up with things like that. Yeah. But how quickly after you guys got over here did you open Makuni? So Oaks? two years, I did a newspaper route with my brother, collecting cans and cowboys and sell foot tones. And uh, my mom and sister did housework. Uh, we did everything we can. We moved 10 times first year and a half, like looking for cheaper rent and stuff. I don't want a suitcase. It wasn't that hard. But then my dad woke up one morning. He said, hey, I had a dream. We're opening a restaurant together. That's <laughs> my dad never cooked in his life. He never had a business. He had no business concept. This is his plan. Um, until today, he doesn't know how to use a microwave. And he's telling me, we're opening a restaurant together. After one dream, one night? One dream, one morning. He, he just told us, we're going to pray about it. I said, Dad, we don't even have a money to. How can you even imagine? I said, hey, God gave me a vision. It will happen. To make it sure, we met the Japanese guy. We don't even know who he was. And exchanged the phone number, and then he sent us $300,000 to a bank account. We had $2,000. So Where did you meet him? We... Originally, we met him on the street <laughs> by uh, in Roseville, actually. That's why I moved to... Okay, so he was buying old houses. So we asked him, if you have a house, if we can rent it, that'd be great because we're looking for a house. And then uh, back then, it was about $1,500 uh, to rent the house. I still remember, I drive by it all the time. And uh, he said, how about seven fifty? I give you half off. I said, oh, great. Sure. And yeah, he told my dad what are you doing? And we share the ideas and he decided to send us $300,000. So within six months, we ran out of money. Mm. And we called that guy, sorry, we lost all your money. And he said, well, let me send you another 100000 He did. And we ran out again. So after six months of not paying rent, lease, we, they kick us out, they try to, and then no vendor to work with, no bank to work with, so I said, Dad, here I am. I, I was turning 21. We hit the wall. I mean, we're working like 7 a.m. to midnight every day. No day off. Sunday, 
my dad, you know, have a little message. If you listen to it, you get a free food. So we have to cook for the church member, too, for a church member. So we didn't have any day else. We were so tired every moment. I was having also because I had so much stress because we're the only sushi bar in the whole world. Didn't have any fish to sell because we couldn't afford it. So I told my dad, I think it was not a dream. It was a nightmare. <laughs> Why don't we all pack everything up and go back to Japan. I begged him. I cried at him because we had no future, it seems like. And my dad kept saying, hey, let's enjoy sufferings and suffering bring patient, patient, the good character, good character to hope. And then God will not disappoint. And he said, just keep, dig deeper. I said, how deep we have to dig ourselves in? <laughs> Look wow. at all this building, deeper the foundation. God can build something amazing upon. And he kept saying... That's serious faith. That's... I mean, okay, so I couldn't doubt his faith because Saturday night um, after work, midnight, whenever I stopped by in his room, 3 a.m. or 4 a.m., 5 a.m., it doesn't matter. He's always awake, never slept even a second to prepare for the church sermon. <laughs> I mean, wow. they had a living faith. You know, Did you um, ever have doubts about that faith? Me? It was a nightmare. <laughs> oh, we had so many, not, not five, but he did discuss. He fired me, I don't know how many times. <laughs> and I told my dad, you can't do without me. But he said, no, if you don't like it, if you don't believe it, just quit and get out of here. He's very hardcore Japanese father. <laughs> mm. So we crashed That's a lot. That's incredible. So when I had a second baby, my dad woke up one morning again. He said, I had a dream. I said, no, please. Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't think I want to hear this. He said, I'm going to name your daughter Chio. I mean, 1,000 sheep. I said, well, why do that to my daughter? Well, God gave me a vision dream that we'll have 1,000 customers a day. <laughs> there is no way. 30 people can't fit in a little restaurant. He's telling me we're going to have 1,000. Then I said, you know what? We'll see. And then yoga shop closed down, video store closed down, haircut closed down. We asked the donut shop to move to the other side. We started a thousand customers on weekends. Wow. Yeah. More you know about me, I have no talent. It's amazing. I don't, I don't know how I got here other than God's favor and the community that we have. You've raised over three million for the local community in charities. Can you? What do you think the importance of giving back is? Yeah, the thing is, again, I didn't do much. We just have a golf tournament, and our community get together to do amazing things. For example, like, have you heard about rescue rolls? Mm -mm. We had a tsunami in Japan in 2011. It was very mm -hmm. personal to me. So we created a roll called Rescue Rolls. Why not we sell those rolls, these rolls, and send 100% of the proceeds goes to Japan? I, I know, you know, people don't have any family members there, but people in Sacramento, is just amazing. We raised $180,000 from incredible. that role. So since then, like Houston was flooded. I said, you know what, we do one week for Houston, 50000 Cat fire, even one, first day we raised 26000 By the time we get to a Paradise Fire, people already knew about it, so they called me, hey, are we doing it? And I said, yes, we're going to do one week. We don't want to close the restaurant, but $75,000 were raised. Recently, Maui fire. Mm. In two weeks, we raised another hundred thousand dollars too. So, everything we do, we could have done it without God or without people in in this uh, community. You've come up with three hundred unique roles, right? Can you talk about your creative process? Okay, I guess I'm gonna embarrass myself again. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> because I didn't have any. Um, how do you say, a training or nothing. Mm. One day, my dad said, all right, we're going to build a sushi bar. Without permit, my uncle came and built a sushi bar. I said, who's going to make sushi anyway? <laughs> my dad said, who else? I said, okay, <laughs> let me get a book. I had a lot of books, like sushi for dummies and all this stuff, and my sushi was horrible because we had no idea how to make it. But only thing is, you know, people came in, they said, back then nobody was eating sushi. One guy said, I like hot dogs. I hate sushi. I said, okay, no problem. I go to the liquor store two doors down, get a hot dog. I made a hot dog roll for him, served with ketchup and mustard. One guy came in, I like uh, hamburger. No problem. I made a hamburger, <laughs> put the little miso in it, miso happy burger roll. That was pretty good. 
And uh, Marilyn, one of the customers said, it's my birthday. Can you make me a special roll? Okay. Marilyn Monroe. Huh. And then Johnny, he was a dentist. He was crazy. So I was spicy and sweet all together. So we made a spicy Johnny roll for him. So I just keep creating whatever customer <laughs> wants to eat. Next time, I know they're, they're bringing their family, their friends to show off their own rolls. And next time I know, we had a 300 rolls. Everything was going so smooth, 60, 2006, 7. So I told my dad, is it okay to have a partner? He kept telling me no, but I, I wasn't listening. Hey, you're retired. Let me move on with my plan, right? And in 2008, we spent three and a half million dollars, beautiful restaurant in Denver, and the economy crashed. And next time I know, we, we were down $11 million in debt, right? Oh. So, <laughs> yeah, everybody said, it's time to file the bankruptcy. So I told my dad, I'm sorry. I made a mistake. So we asked uh, our team to cut down 40% of their pay. And a lot of people left. And then, yeah, we tried to sell everything we have, but we didn't have much, many things to sell. And I told my dad, I'm sorry. And then what do we do? He said, you know what? Just remember, start digging again. Keep digging. I said, again? He said, yeah, it's God's plan. He'll finish it. Just believe in God. And then that we learned the word Kaizen. Do you know what Kaizen mean? I do, but I want to hear from someone who practices it. It's basically getting incrementally better. Like yes. Every time you do a task, you try to get better at that task, right? continuously improve and change for the better. Ah. So uh, we, we decided, hey, let's change whole attitude toward work, how we run it, back to basic, back to God, get back to people. You know, it's not about building. Let's do it all over again. So we start brand new way. We have a uh, M-I-K-U-N-I core values. Motivate ourselves to do our best. Eyes for inspire others. K for uh, Kaizen ourselves in every way. You for united, Miku united. Miku mean kingdom of God. United me once. Under God, we're one human race. We should love each other and help each other. And M for never stop dreaming. And then I, last one, increase God's love. Increase love. So our mission statement is to be the most loving and loved company in the world. We don't have to make the best sushi or we don't have to have an amazing building. It's about we love God, we love people, and we want to be loved by them. So we changed the whole attitude toward work and business. And did that get back to a more customer-centric, like oh, yeah. loving the customer? Oh, okay. yeah. yeah. In 2011, we opened the restaurant called Kaizen. And then after that, we paid off all the debt and opened the Folsom store. Along the way, I made so many mistakes, but every time I make mistakes and... I don't know, confess myself to God what I did wrong. And he used that to get to a next level. Like, I think Denver was the hardest lesson yet, best lesson we had. Because of Denver, we know how to make money now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we learned so much from the Denver store. Yeah, so that's it worked out. one of many stories. That's why I can't yeah. run. This is a Denver coin. And, um, you know, keep reminding myself cool. to be humble and purpose. That's our logo. You can keep it. Purpose Thank and you. praise. That's our logo means. How do you know what God's guidance is? So when you pray or you say, hey, God told us to do this, God told us to do that, how does he communicate to you? So in the past, I really, I depend on my dad. because very spiritual. He's close to God. Now he has Alzheimer. He's in the care home. I mean, he's the best golfer around. You know why? Mm -mm. He's four in the water. By the time he gets to the uh, green, he's punting for birdie because he forgets everything. <laughs> he's the best golfer. He never, he, he never lied. He suddenly started lying. I said, what happened here? I didn't know he had Alzheimer. But now he's at care home. I see him every week. I take him out. Yesterday, he was praying for a, a sick uh, patient out there. And every Sunday, he preaches to those care home patients. He says, same thing, but for them, it's a new, new story every Sunday. Yeah. So it, it's working out very well. That's but, awesome. Yeah, my dad didn't have to say much. 
he showed with his action. So whenever I have a question, um, what do you think about this? And then, well, what the Bible said about this. Yeah, okay. It goes straight to the Bible. Huh. Yeah. Applying that though. So, okay, we're, we're out of money. Like we have this vision and I, I'm, I'm not grilling you. I'm genuinely curious. How do you keep your faith? We came from nothing. Mm. So if God takes everything that we have, that's where we began. So I, I don't dwell that. in earthly thing too much. I always say life is great, but eternity is better. So our focus is eternity. That's why what my dad is going through is nothing to us. We're so happy for him. He did amazing till now. You know, his face is there, so he's going to be in heaven anyway. So like my mom too, she's very happy right now. She's the happiest woman. Well, she doesn't have to cook for him every day anymore. <laughs> we take her out every week. Um, yeah, our focus is different than just this world. So all the suffering, it doesn't seem like suffering to us. It's more of an opportunity to learn something or um, what God teaches us, we can see. Mm. I, like I don't that. know. I don't know where to go from here. but Yeah, no, I, that answered the question. Do you have any input or advice for young men in their 20s that want to become entrepreneurs? Well, I'm the best example, right? <laughs> I mean, I don't have anything to show. Like, for example, I had a um, Japanese business uh, magazine came to the interview me. Which school did you graduate? I said, well, Mikuni University. <laughs> right. <laughs> My school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And they said, all right, what did you major in anyway? I said, well, I teach sociology class, so I'll say sociology, right? Mm -hmm. They had about, I don't know, 10, 20 questions. I couldn't answer even one of them. I didn't have anything that, oh, yeah, I'm good at numbers, or I'm good at this, that, nothing. And then I thought to myself, oh, God, why you didn't give me anything? <laughs> but because of that, I get to trust 100% to God. At the same time, I can't be proud of myself. And I learned one thing is delegation, delegation. What is your life purpose? I have too many. <laughs> like, I have goals every year, too. Like, one time, Kaizen, right? Yes. I told my kids, you have to do this, 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 this. I was preaching them. And then I thought to myself, maybe I should ask them, how can I be a better father? Wow, that was the wrong question. They kept writing. Right? <laughs> they wrote a book. <laughs> oh, yeah. I asked my younger son, I said, hey, can I start with one? Tell me one. He said, why don't you follow your own advice? I said, ooh, like what? Well, you said, don't text and drive. I see you doing it. I said, ooh. well, I'm very special. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that rule's just for you. <laughs> no, I said, I'm sorry. Maybe I should show with my actions. So since then, I want to show with my action and set the goal so I can achieve it. So I asked my wife too, how can I be a better human? She said, well, you, you know, you talk a lot. I, I love, you know, sharing. She said, why don't you think before you speak? I said, that's so rude. T-H-I-N-K. Huh. <laughs> T is a true. H is a helpful. I is inspiring. N is necessary. K is kind. If not, don't say it. Whole year that year, I couldn't even talk anymore. Every time I think, should I say this to this guy? No, that's not necessary. <laughs> so following year, I told my wife, hey, it's not fair that I'm the only one talking. Why don't you talk a lot? You know? She said, well, if you ever learn how to listen. <laughs> mm. So that year, my goal was to be a better listener. It was not easy for me, but I learned how to listen so I can listen to learn. That was a great lesson. And then two years ago was be a humble servant. So how can I show my love to everyone? So I asked my wife. She said, you can pick up the dog poop every morning. That's what I do for her. If that makes her happy, I'll do it. <laughs> and neighbor, um, I pick up the garbage once a week. And for my team, I do the encouragement video every month. Last year, my goal was to give in while living cheerfully. So my time, my gift, little gift, I want to use for charity and also money too. I told my one of my son, he's a financial advisor, here's the money I want to give. And then I want to raise 5% every year for the next five years. It's weird. More I give, the account yeah. grew. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. It's but anyway. Interesting the way that works. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, this year, my goal is to 
are walking wisely daily. I'm one step away from stupid. I can destroy my family like that. One mistake. So every morning I wake up, I read that, walking wisely daily. How can I do that? I mean, there's so many things you can do. Hang out with the right friends, mm. <laughs> wise friends. <laughs> that will start too, but that's what I do this year. I already have a next year's goal too. Do everything in love. Everything. Not you, just few things. What do you mean by that? Do anything I, I do. That. Everything I do. That's what the Bible verse came up to me about last week. I was praying about it. What's next year's goal? And then the Bible verse, I have to see. I haven't wrote it, wrote it down yet, but that came up to me and God spoke to me. Hey, do everything in love. Because I can do just to looks good or something like that too, right? But I want to do from my heart. Yeah, That's it's awesome. Love. Yeah. Well, that's going to be a great year. But I, I'll quit something every year, too. Make sure I'm not addicted to anything. Okay. I quit coffee for one year. Last year was no alcohol for a one year. It was not easy for me because <laughs> I host so many parties and I yeah, do a lot of private of parties. And This year is no shopping. So I haven't bought any shoes, clothes, nothing this year yet. Wow. Good for you. <laughs> I love this. I'm Always sure, growing. You know, I'm not, yeah. I don't know. What kind of things are you passionate about outside of sushi? Outside of sushi, I'm all about, I don't know, family, people. I just love people. Mm. So I want to be around people. I want to, like I said, I don't deserve to be where I am at. So I'm going to keep giving back as much as I can. And um, I just want to spread my joy. I love that. I'm very appreciative. Guys, if you enjoyed Taro's journey of success from Japan to the United States with nothing but a dream, check this video out right here.